Hi everybody, I am here to show you a video of one of my new releases that came out just today. Um, I have three sets that came out as I'm filming this, they came in an hour ago. I moved quick, quick, quick. So I wanted to do um, three separate videos that kind of show you how to use the stencils. So this is going to be the video for the house set, which includes one large eight and a half by 11 and one six by six. And I'm just getting over a really bad cough. So I'm going to try and make it through this video without coughing, but it, it lasted for like four weeks. So um, <clears throat> it's one of those. So you'll have to bear with me. So the eight and a half by 11, I'm really excited about this. This is going to be a really popular one, I think, for a lot of reasons. But um, I have a really big template here that you can use, you can just trace it over your papers and you can use it to make a book. So I have made some little books here from this template. So I just literally traced it, cut it out, and I put some books together. So there's a couple ways to do it. You can make your papers the same as the shape or your cover can be a house and the insides can just be small if you have smaller scraps to use. For those of you in fodder school, this is a great way to use up all those extra pages that you have of collage papers. You can fill it up in here with all your handmade papers. This was actually done by... Um, Someone, Yvonne or Slyvon66 from Instagram, she sent me a little happy package and it's just so beautiful, all these papers. So I was like, I have to make a book with her paper on it. Um, and this is from Ricky Tiki Tavi, her little um, quotes that you can buy in her shop. I love putting these on everything. But it's just really easy and you can literally just do a pamphlet style page. So what I do, once I've got my cover, if I want the pages to be um, a house shape, I will trim them down. I won't do this exact size, like I'll, I'll cut one out and then I'll trim it down. I'll show you in a minute, just so that they fit in your book nicely. So that is one option. And then on this grid, I included some little shapes that you could add to your house. Like if you wanted to add a window or a little wreath on there, another like a circular window and some details to just kind of add to your house. It also includes these three smaller structures, which I have little samples of here. And, you know, initially when I I thought of making stencils way, way back when. The first set that I wanted to make was houses because I was making them as collage fodder and um, <coughs> they're just so fun to kind of add to like a little uh, cluster or a little assemblage. So as you can see, I've kind of gone crazy. I made a little mushroom house. They're just so fun. Either you can doodle on them um, you know, they're just so fun to do on, or you can even just leave them plain and cluster a whole bunch and it can make like a gorgeous background. So super, super fun. All part of this larger stencil. These are the samples for that. And I had to put a little hand on here. Someone was asking, I, I carved some tiny hands and I decided to just kind of mirror one of my hand card stamps on here. So I have a really tiny hand. So now, if you have the other hand stencil, you'll have three sizes. The second stencil from this set is, I like to call them wonky houses because they're a little kind of wonky. Um, 
but these are just again fun to make little bits of houses with so these are kind of what they look like i literally just got these hour hours ago so i don't have a ton of samples quite yet um i make my own prototypes ahead of time but because these were so small i really couldn't cut them myself so um and they're fun just like if you want to cut them out individually again or you can use them as scenery um you know like in a watercolor you can use them with watercolors and they'll come out beautifully of course on my uh, instagram channel i'm going to be doing lots of little reels that show you how to use all this stuff so you can get more ideas there in the next couple weeks um i'm going to show you a couple other examples of how you can kind of use these in different ways so this book is uh my dilutions journal so it's very large i'm gonna see if i can't move the camera back just a smidge oh that might help not really um so i put some of a lot of the new release is on here so one of the other fun things that you can do with the houses is you can use it as a tip-in which is what I did here. So um, I included, when I went to stencil this with, I just, you know, found a piece of paper. I just drew a line here. Actually, I did the other way around. Hold on. Here we go. Um, I drew a line here on this little edge where the spine would be, just so I had an extra piece, but it's not necessary for sure. So it makes a fun little tip in. Um, you can also use it um, as double doors. You can just stencil one of them and then you can open it up. You know, I just use washi when I make tip ins on both sides. So they make a really good hinge. So that makes a really awesome tip in. And in this one, um, I'm trying to angle this so you can get him fully in your frame there. I did another tip in as well, but I cut out a window and I, I put like a Tim Holtz paper doll like figure in there. And it's really fun to play with these because when you create this little window or door, you can kind of reveal what's behind it when you open it up and you can add like another little scene. Um, here, I added one of the wonky houses um, right there. I think this is larger than, no, it might be the actual, let's see. Yeah, I was working for my <coughs> prototype for this one. So you can actually add those in your journal as well. So just some other, I don't think I have any other house ones. So just some other ideas on how to use the house stencils. Um, but again, I'm going to be posting um, a ton of ideas going forward in the next few weeks because I only just got these today. And so normally I'll, I'll hand cut my stencils and I'm working with prototypes before I put them out, but I really didn't do that this time. So I'm just starting to play. So I think I'll probably get a whole bunch of ideas but I'm obsessed with these houses. So I hope you have some fun with these. And I always say, tag me if you make anything. I'll put my hashtag, hashtag Meg's stencils, two S's, and tag me with what you make. And I love to see what everyone is creating. So I can't wait to see what you come up with. And I really hope you enjoy these as much as I have. And uh, I'll see you in another video.